is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. <laughs> Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjatli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. God of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Waiting for you. He always said he would. He, he's close. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything 
in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of my making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. He cared in a way that nobody else did. Senwa, you've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, 
Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hurth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hurth is slain. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. <laughs> she She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, pure, sending darkness. the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement, an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never left her. She was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel in her past. The gods are just laughing. And Dillian. Her future. The gods are laughing at her. Messing with her. Two realities. Tearing at her soul. I think she remembers him. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth. Stone, trees, metal, everything, except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. Very careful. 
Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, glad to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall. Oh, no, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Senra. Senua. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the Stop. price you pay for the gift you did it, you have? but there's more. Keep going. There's more. The gift that makes you so special in my There's still more. There's always more to Just do. Another it's not to going to be enough. easy. Can you do another one? It's too much. I'm not for the wild. It's to protect you from not the energies. No. Too much to do. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this place? It's creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? There he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Follow going him. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. It's a test. It's just a test. Like the old warrior trial. Will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, 
No one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. The Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear in the And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. Demian! They're coming for me! Shannon, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. 